Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome software screencast. This screencast is going to look at our new Garden Gnome plugin uh, as well as the packages that Pano2VR and Object2VR can output for content management systems such as Jamula and WordPress. Okay, um, I've opened up Pano2VR. Um, I've got an HTML5 uh, output already selected. I've got a two node tour. I'm just going to go into the parameters, click on HTML and you'll see that I've already got the ggpkg template selected. There's the normal one, there's the new template. Okay, I've got a, a, a link here that will take you back to our website which will enable you to download the correct plugin for your CMS site um, if you haven't already done so. Here I've already got my WordPress one on my desktop so I'm ready to install it. Okay, so if I click OK and now we now output the tour, Instead of showing an output, what it's going to do is create the package. So once it's done, open up the output. There's my tour in the package and I'll just move it to my desktop. That's it. I've, I'm, I'm now ready to go. So I've got a um, WordPress website here. This is a brand new installation. So it's got no packages. It's got no plugins. Um, that I've done so let's let's go through the process so from that link you've gone to our website you've downloaded your um, plugin so now what we're going to do is go to the dashboard and hopefully that will load and we're going to go down to plugins and add new I'm going to upload There it is. Okay. Installed it. Once it's installed, we need to activate it. Okay, so here is our plugin. And I've got some settings here that I want to quickly go through with you. I'm going to skip over most of them. I'm just only going to hi um, highlight some of the, the um, key ones. Um, but all this you'll see in the documentation. Right, first one is player size, important. So that's the size of the window you're going to display your panorama or object in. Um, start the player as a preview image. If you've got multiple panoramas with background sound, the last thing you need them to do is obviously all load and then all start playing music at the same time. With this selected, you'll get a preview image with the little start button thing in the middle. Um, so your, your viewer would then click that to see the panorama. Um, as we scroll down, we can see user data. I'm going to deselect that. Um, we have some HTML code that we can modify. Again, all of this is going to be in the documentation. If we then go down to Pano2VR, um, under that heading, we can display a map. I will select that. And we have a select master uh, panorama. If you, for argument's sake, have uh, some panoramas on your website and you want to uh, change the skin, Rather than having to delete them and, and redo them, if you if you then upload your new panorama with your new skin, select this as your new panorama or your master panorama, and then you can click use skin from it, and then it will use the skin throughout all the panos on your website. It's the same here for the player, and this is exactly the same for Object 2 VR. Again, Object 2 VR version 3 outputs or has the package output in the template, so you can do exactly what I'm doing now with Pano2VR with Object2VR. Okay, so that's the settings um, within the plugin, so I'm gonna save those changes. Right, what we need to do now then is add media. Well, I've created my um, tour, so I'm gonna go to um, add some media or add new, and all I need to do is just click, drag and drop. Again, if this was an Object2VR um, output, it's exactly the same. Now, obviously, depending on how big your files are, it will depend on how long this takes. So I'll probably end up speeding up um, the process a bit to save some time. Okay, that's our tour loaded. So what we need to do now is create a post to put it in. So let's go to Posts, um, Add New. And we're going to call this, I don't know, Pano2 VR. Uh, plugin. So we can type our post, but what I'm going to do is go straight to add the media. There's the package. Click on that. I could have given it a bit more information, but I'm just going to insert that. There it goes. And then I'm going to publish. Right, once done, 
wish view the site. And there it is. There's our Pano 2 VR already in with our map underneath it. And as it's a multi-node, we can click and there you go. You can have your tour there. It can be the HTML5 multi-resolution that's now in 4.5. Um, Object 2 VR, as I say, is exactly the same way. There you go. That's how to use the plugin and the packages from Object and Pano 2 VR. Thanks for watching.